Come on, come on, come on. My people, them. Match review settings. Chelsea 2, Newcastle 1. We are smoking on that Newcastle pack tonight. And we are back. My brothers also went to the Man United match. These men are upset because Man United lost 2-1 to West Ham. Ha ha, we are five points ahead of them. And we got them next week. It's going to be a good watch along next week, man. It's going to be a good one next week. So stay tuned for Chelsea United next week. But we are here to talk about the Newcastle game. And you guys, it was a great game. I'm not going to lie. The way it ended, I was not happy with. But the fact that we can get out of that game, get our three points and we're back into the top four, it's just so calm because times are just getting better. We are on the up and up. And make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. But... Man, oh man. Today's game. We start off game so well, you know. We start off game so well. But let's just talk about the team news in terms of goalkeeper Robert Sanchez. Right back was Mano Gusto. Centre backs was Wesley Fofana as well as, as well as Levi Coral. Left back was Reese James. CDMs was Moises Caicedo. Romeo Lavio. On the left, we had Pedro Neto. On the right, Noni Madweki. Cam. Cole Palmer, striker, Nicholas Jackson. And like I was saying, we start off games so well. The first five minutes, we was on stuff. We had a goal disallowed as well. Nicholas Jackson gave a goal to Cole Palmer. The ball put him in behind, but it was just a slight bit offside. It could have been contested. I didn't necessarily think it was too much difference, but he got ruled out, in it, And it's just how it went. You have to be honest, man, but... It's calm because we got into their box at least three times during the first five minutes. I always knew that their defence would eventually fold. And it didn't take long after that for it to happen. Because what a ball from Cole Palmer receives it in our half and lengs it all the way to Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto gets the ball, just gets enough, touches it past the Newcastle defender, then puts in the box on a plate for Nicholas Jackson. One touch, back of the net. 1-0 Chelsea and the goal was coming. The goal was coming. The pressure that we was applying was immense. And we have to big up the attack and on the transition as well. Because on the transition, we are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. And I have to big up Nicholas Jackson. Six Premier League goals so far in nine games. He has nine goal involvements. He could have had 10 if the goal didn't get disallowed for Cole Palmer. He is having a sublime season. And people need to stop chatting negatively on his name. He is doing his thing. And just big you up, Nico big you up because you are doing an incredible job and also I have to big up as Moresco because Moresco he sets the tone we are unstoppable at the start of the first half and the second half we start off games so well full of energy and willing to score as I was saying that's how we started the first half and obviously Newcastle eventually ended up getting their goal they did obviously through the left hand side we was playing a little bit too under tempo after the, after the next 10 minutes after we scored, these guys grew into the game a little bit. Lewis Hall, former Chelsea Academy graduate, was able to get down the left-hand side and put the ball into Isaac, who scored the goal. He was played on side by Wesley Fofana. I don't necessarily agree with why Wesley Fofana has to stick out his legs so much because you could have kept it one centimetre um, closer to you, then he would have been offside. So it's like, the way he stuck out, it's like, I don't necessarily make sense, but that's just how players get in the positions. And I always know we're going to concede, if we're going to be honest. Our defence is our weakest point, and we have to sort this out. Because eventually, this could become a huge problem, if it hasn't already been. But we need to continue and just make sure that we can store, score the goals to stop our defence frailties from, from costing us. Because damn, man, defensively, we could have been the game could have been different today. It could have been very different. But... The first half ends, it's pretty even, even though, wait, it's pretty even, but I have to talk about, um, what's their names, um, Newcastle, how they was able to keep a man on side, I mean, to keep a man on, because Wesley, I mean, Reese James played a great ball in, and Noni Manwaki was on the end of it, and he got fouled, it should have been at least a free kick, it might not have been a red card, because there was a player next to him, but there should have been a foul. And referees today nearly cost Chelsea because in my opinion, we should have had at least one penalty. We should have. But these referees are just bumps and they've always been bumps towards Chelsea in my opinion. So 
that's just the way I wanted to say about the last thing about the first half. But then, second half, I wasn't worried. I was always confident that we were going to get another goal because I expected us to score at least two goals. And we did. And the way I said it, at the start of the second half, we start the game off so well. So well. And then you think of it. Romeo Lavio with your interception. Again, what a brilliant performance from you. An interception, you win the ball back. Cole Palmer gets it, drives with it, and bam! Near post, Pope can't do nothing. Literally, within the first five minutes of the second half, we are 2-1 up. And are we surprised nowadays? No, we are not. Because Cole Palmer is him. He has 12 goal involvements in the Premier League now. We have Cole Palmer and Nicholas Jackson combining for 21 goals and assists in nine Premier League games. Both of them contributing to 21 goals and assists in the Premier League in nine games. Their partnership is on is immense. And the way they're doing their thing is carrying Chelsea's attack right now because they are the two outstanding attackers that we have in the Premier League. And you have to big them up. Second half though, after we scored that, we could have had a third one, but... It just didn't happen. Newcastle were going to the game. The referee were giving Newcastle life. A lot of free kicks were coming. A lot of yellow cards were coming. And just the decisions that were happening. Because Moresco eventually brang on Nkunku. And Nkunku for his cameo, appear his cameo appearance done very well. He should have won a penalty. And he was incorrectly booked. How? He's getting booked because apparently he fouled the player. It doesn't even make sense if you see the foul that was given against him and then you see the penalty my man clearly touches him in the box I don't care if it's soft or whatever a man got touched in the box it is a penalty it is a penalty and we should have had a penalty and we should have won the game by more than 2-1 100% and based off the fact that the referee at the end of the game wanted to be like or oh, give an extra minute and a bit because there was 6 minutes of added time we're playing the game nearly to the 98th minute why is the game going on for so much longer? These referees are against man. So against man. I don't like referees on, on God. But at least we was able to get out of the game and get the three points. To be able to go in to another weekend or come out another weekend close to the top four than we were to the bottom half is brilliant. Because 12 months ago, we, could, we was wishing for these things. We would have been wishing for these things. And to know that Arsenal have to play Liverpool, these men have to lose. Arsenal have to lose so that we can be in the top four again and we can have just some more happiness because now we are five points clear of Man United who we play next. Then we play Arsenal. Must win games like today was and we got the result today. Big up the man them and we play Newcastle in three days time and we have to win that match to go through to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Big up Cole Palmer. 12 goals and assists in the Premier League this season. You are doing your thing. Nicholas Jackson, big you up. Pedro Neto, big up for your assist. Good performance from you today. Romeo Lavia, Kai Sado, strong partnership in the midfield yet again. Defensively, we need to improve. But I do feel like Colwell and Fofana kept Isaac quiet. And I also have to picture out, I forgot to talk about Isaac's near miss. Them and there could have equalised for Newcastle. And I can't lie, he should have. But thank you, Isaac, for being so greedy. That completely missed my mind, just due to the fact that I'm not really too fussed about your miss because it weren't a goal. But thank you for your miss. And thank you for being greedy because that lapse in concentration, yeah, man, it could have ended so badly for Chelsea. It could have ended so badly, but it didn't. We won 2-1. Another win against Newcastle. They've only won once in the last 30 games in all competitions against us at Stamford Bridge. It's a brilliant day, smoking on that Newcastle pack and hopefully we are back in the top four when I do the Premier League table update. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Hit the like button, the subscribe button and turn the notification bell. And as always, come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea. We are on the up and up. Big up my Resca and the Mandem. In a bit my people them.